Yeah, uh-oh. This is, a. Uh... This is something that I am... <clears throat> Look. We've, we've been a part of reaction controversies before. Uh, for instance... <clears throat> when... Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Whenever our, um... Uh, a long time ago, we were actually under... Under a company called Fullscreen. And we were also a we were also like on full screen with another very big reaction channel, at one point the biggest reaction channel on YouTube, the Fine Brothers reaction videos. And yeah, then the Fine Brothers decided, oh yeah, we own the word react now on the trademark react now on YouTube, and basically Anyone who wants to use the word react, you will now have to use our... You'll have to go through us for the trademark. Which basically made no sense because there were reaction videos on YouTube before the Fine Brothers. Not only that, but how can you trademark the word react? It's like trademarking the word sky. Look at you, Sky Television. It, it's like Monster thinking they can go backwards in time and sue Pokemon for being called Pocket Monsters. Yes, it, it makes no sense. And, you see, what the Fine Brothers did was absolutely asinine. I will admit that wholeheartedly. But here's the thing, at the time we couldn't say anything because we were under the same label. And basically, I'm not going to say we had a muzzle put on us, but we definitely had, we had like eyes on us, but now that there's no eyes on us anymore, and we're, since we're independent, throwing caution to the wind. So, yeah, that, uh, that whole situation was shitty, and yeah, the Fine Brothers were stupid for what they did. actually gonna be very many people who aren't in our corner on that one anyway. Yeah, true, true. Saying that <clears throat> the Fine Brothers were idiots when they did that. Yes, they very much were. Oh, and then, uh, not only that, but there's also been other controversies throughout the years. I remember when uh, Great A Under A did a scathing con commentary on reaction videos, and uh, basically, uh, him and Tyrone Magnus had it out. And the thing is, Tyrone Magnus came out on the other side, you know, as like I I guess the winner of it, because uh, he's still here and he's still making videos, and Great A Under A basically, you know, backed the wrong horse with Leafy and. Uh, you know, shit the bed, and is now basically not even. I don't, I don't even. I don't know if he's making videos anymore. I haven't seen anything, but he tried to come after us because people requested that we did reactions to his to his videos, specifically his thoughts on reaction content. And here's the thing: uh, Great A Under A's video was strictly about Jinx and CJ is so cool. Now Jinx and CJ is so cool. I had problems with how Jinx and CJ is so cool did it because basically they would open the video and be like, hey, what is it up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome to the reaction. Uh, today we are going to be checking out this uh, this video here by this person here. So uh, let's check it out and let's see what's up. And then that was it. They that... play and they sit there and then they're like, all right, that was cool. Like and subscribe. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I think Grade actually showed in the video that it was like, 45 seconds of total additional content that Jinx and CJ is so cool was like the average. And that to me is just baffling. Yeah, we're already uh, quadrupled that at least. Yeah, we're, we're, intro, already, so we're already four minutes in on this. And the reason why I'm bringing this up and the reason why is because <clears throat> there are always going to be people out there who do not like reaction content. I'm not here to try and pull you over to the other side. I am merely here as a person who has been doing this for the better part of a decade. And I gotta be honest, I enjoy doing reactions, but it's not everything that I do. And plus, here's always been my thing. If someone does not want us to do reactions to their content, then we don't. That's, that's the thing. I've always made it abundantly clear. Whenever it comes to reactions, if someone does not like us doing reactions to their stuff, then they just have to say the word. And that's like grade A under A, basic. Grade, the way he went about it was he basically called us dogs and said that basically we deserve to basically get put down 
He basically called us dogs and said we deserve to die. And he did this on Twitch, and I remember him saying it. I was like, whoa, dude. What the hell did we do to you? I mean, what cardinal sin did we commit? But then, um, but then, um, there were other there were other people at the time who were also like taking on reaction videos. I know Content Cop did, iDubs, and his commentary on it. I respect. Actually, I remember we had people commenting like a few days after that Content Cop video. It's just like you guys are still doing reaction videos. Didn't you see the Content Cop? Your con your style of content is over. Hi, here we still are, years later after the Content Cop video, because guess what? It wasn't Apparently, over. It wasn't. But here was the other thing, too, is we also had, we've been contacted multiple times by multiple channels. Uh, the ones I can think of specifically are Smarter Every Day and Joe Cat. Those are the two big ones. Uh, Smarter Every Day basically sent us an email saying, hey, we appreciate the fact that you liked our video enough to react to, you know, well, it was requested. That was the number one thing. It was requested of us, and we did it, and we, we found it to be awesome. It was about the reverse bicycle. Whenever you turn the handlebars left, the wheel went right. It was, Sounds like a good way to hurt yourself. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> but it was basically an exercise in like how difficult it was as an adult to learn how to do that to do versus backwards. a kid. Yeah. Versus a kid, because a kid, learned his son learned how to do it so much faster than he did. Because of neuroplasticity, and it was actually a really cool idea, and, and we reacted to it, and we thought it was, we we basically, I think, tripled the length of the original video discussing it and everything, but Destin contacted us and basically said, hey, we appreciate the fact that you did a reaction, but this is not, that we don't, I don't like, I, I don't really approve of reaction videos, so we would like to request that you take down your reaction to our, our video. And here's the thing, if you're respectful like that, I have no qualms taking down a video because honestly, it's your original video. And that's the thing, like, that's if Epic Rap Battles of History, if ERB contacted us tomorrow and said, hey, we'd really appreciate it if you deleted all of your reactions to our content, then I would be very, I'd be very sad about it because I enjoyed watching and reacting to the Epic Rap Battles of History. But that's their content, and I respect those guys enough to where if they make that request, I will do that. But oh, for clarification, if you're sitting here wondering why we still have Joe Cat videos up after Joe Cat has, asks us. Oh, that's to the that. other thing. Yeah, is Joe Cat actually recontacted us and said he changed his mind? <coughs> yes, which was very cool because I really like those videos. Oh, and then not only that, but Joe Cat also made his videos Creative Commons, basically making it to where that is full approval for anyone to react to them. And I, and I think that's pretty cool. I think it's... Uh, you see, there are content creators out there who are perfectly okay with reaction videos. They've actually said it as much. Uh, Mr. Beast is 100% fine with people doing reactions to his content. Um, uh, Vanoss, Smitty, um, see, Wildcat. There's others that have commented in a way that even if they haven't come out right and said they're cool with reactions, they made it sound like they were cool with reaction to them. Well, well and like another... Super Butter Buns. Oh, well, yeah, Super Butter Buns, as well as uh, Dead Meat. Dead Meat contacted mm -hmm. us on our channel directly and said that he appreciated, you know, us checking him out. Obviously, and then, Doug now. Is yeah, so that yeah he, the he Nostalgia agrees. Critic, Doug yeah. Walker. Um, and, and you see... This isn't us hoisting up being like, look at all the people who've contacted us. No, this is just us setting an example for people who do value reaction videos out there. And we try to be transformative with it enough to where we stop on the regular and add our own commentary. Sometimes we say stuff that is uh, stuff that's on base with what we're reacting to and, you know, we keep it on subject. Other times we stray off and we go off on a tangent and we can't help ourselves. And... And that's the thing. I, I look at I look at how a lot of reaction channels out there doing, and I know the ones that he's going to be discussing this because I saw him in their thumbnail. I saw I saw them in his thumbnail. It was um <clears throat> he's going to be talking about SS Sniper Wolf, who I have had a lot of criticisms about. I've said it in previous videos. Hassan Piker, who I just don't like. He comes off as an arrogant ass a lot of times. XQC, who has really stopped gaming and has just become a reaction content creator and and not even a good one. 
I mean, every now and again, he like stops the video. He's like, oh man, that is, that is so crazy, man. That is so crazy. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Then plays the well, video the again. The one game you're really good at started to suck real bad. And you got to do something else, I guess. I guess. <clears throat> and then uh, the last one was, uh, I saw on the thumbnail, Asmund Gold, which Asmund, I've seen some of his reactions, and I will say... Sometimes he does add commentary, but there's been some I've seen of his where he doesn't add as much commentary as as well, to be like honest, others. He's out definitely there. better than the others. Though. No doubt, no doubt. I like Asmund. Asmund Gold's reactions, I think, are a lot more genuine. They're a lot more genuine than SS because SS Sniper. You can tell that she just is like is like playing it by the numbers and is reacting just enough and acting just a, and. Just like, just like, oh, wow, can, wow, he's running up the side of the, he's, oh my gosh, oh, oh, it's like, you could tell, so easy, dude, honey, I don't know, like, like, how, like, like, if you ever get into acting, like, don't, just don't, because you suck, you suck at acting, <clears throat> but <clears throat> I know there's going to be people who are going to comment on this video, and if you feel like we are transformative enough with the content. We uh, And here's the other thing, too. We always, 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 I preface this every time, we always credit the original creator. Always. Forever and until the end of time. I will always credit the original creator, and I will always include their channel. That's the thing. I include their channel in the title of the video, and I always leave a link to the original video in the description. Like, I want people to check out the original content before they see our reaction, but a lot of times that doesn't happen. A lot of times we get repeat viewers, or we get we get first-time viewers who go to these other channels and they check out those other channels and they wind up subscribing. That's happened that's happened multiple times. People have said, Oh damn, I discovered Smitty through you guys, and dude, I've been subscribed to him now for like the last four years, and I freaking love Smitty. It's like and you see stuff like that. That's that's cool. I love I love opening up uh, people's eyes to other creators who I think are more than deserving of of this. But plus, every time I <coughs> watch something new that I enjoy, I go personally subscribe to it on my own YouTube account. Yep. So I mean, yeah. Not to mention, are you gonna sit here and say every reaction channel is crap when this guy works here? You really gonna tell him to his face that he sucks? I didn't think so. No, he doesn't suck. He he eats more more than he sucks. <laughs> he, is, <laughs> he is he is the kitty vacuum cleaner. He eats everything within within <laughs> within arm's reach. And he's named after the sentient intelligence assigned to Mars. Yeah, from Doom. Yeah, Vega. Vega. <laughs> Look at he he's in lap cat mode. He's yeah. in very much a lap cat mood today. Look at him. Uh so yeah, we spent 13 minutes on this intro. I know some of you probably are like tuned out or you probably looked for Caleb in the comment section, but we hope that you at least listened to what we have to say here in the beginning because there's a lot of context that goes into our reactions and why we do what we do. And I just want to preface that before we get into this video. And I know the act man, I respect the act man. I love the act man. I like his takes. I, I love his takes. And I know I, he's probably going to discuss some things in here, and we're probably going to pause a lot. We're probably going to pause a lot and talk about this video. We'll see how it goes. Anywho, let's go ahead and check it out. This is The Dark Side of Reaction Content by The Act Man. Here we go. What's up, everybody? This is the React Man here. <laughs> I want to discuss reaction one. content on YouTube and Twitch. Oh gosh! What year is it? I thought this issue was solved and done with back in 2016 and 17, <coughs> when the entire YouTube community came together to condemn this degenerate, thieving type of content. If you didn't know, there's been quite a bit of drama. <laughs> eh, more along the lines of like going after the fine bros. But, eh. but this all started with two incidents, one of them being Lemino posting a JFK documentary, which XQC and Hassan both reacted to and uploaded a video. People actually asked us to react to that, and I and I'm more than happy to react to stuff like that on my own time, but that's an hour and a half video. And and I love the Kennedy assassination as a topic. I've I've discussed it multiple times with my friends. And honestly, I love I I would love to watch that, and I might I might do a reaction to it. Plus, it's it's got over six million views. It's done it's done really good. And I, I mean honestly, I 
I'm mean, looking at XQC and uh, Hassan. It's like, damn, what the fuck? Oh, uh oh, now we got an Asher boy on the on the couch. Look at him. Look at the big lummox. Asher, lay down, lay down, buddy. Oh, we know, buddy. <laughs> Snoopy. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I shoot the dog. Yeah. Lay down. Lay down, buddy. It's okay. Yeah. There you go. Lay your big ass down. He needs to decide which way he wants to There see. he goes. Yeah. No. He always lays with his head towards the, like, the arm of yeah, the... I was going to say, now, please don't fart because he pointed his... <laughs> he's, he's pointed he the pointed lethal... pointed his bum straight at me. He pointed the lethal weapon directly at you. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, back to this. But, yeah, the Kennedy assassination... I would love to to do a reaction to that maybe one day by myself of course copying the title thumbnail and much of the metadata and re-uploading this reaction so soon after the original upload did feel a bit scummy and the other instance that sparked this discussion uh was the ongoing feud between jack's films and sasasa sniper wolf don't you mean J -J -J jack's films because I, <laughs> jack's <laughs> films started up an entirely separate channel and called it J -J jack's films much like Sessa Sniper Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was fucking hilarious. But to start off, <clears throat> I really want to hear what Hassan has to say about all this. So we're going to be checking out um, one of his videos. This is responding to this again, React Gate, okay? Austin Ox can't help himself, has to get me into trouble. But this is actually informative and pretty good, so I'm going to cover this part of it. The irony is, Austin Ox himself is an individual entity, okay? He is my editor, but he also works with other people, and this is what he does. He's a human being with his own thoughts, <laughs> and his own opinions. But because we are so conditioned to thinking like, oh no, dude, he's your slave. Everything that he does, he does at your behalf. When Austin Ox is talking about React Gate or whatever, people get super mad. You know, this is, this is kind of loud. Same. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done, man. <clears throat> well done. I'm just trying to make some steel bars. I figure if I'm going to be reacting to content, I might as well be grinding something in RuneScape. I'm pioneer. Wow. Dude. Right? Uh, very accurate to how a lot of Twitch streamers do it. Very accurate. Cause... Well, I think it's because, like, originally, like, Asmund would do stuff like allow people to send him clips while he was playing WoW. Yeah. And, like, that's fine to an extent if you can pay attention to both at the same time. But, like, yeah, if you're just going to be doing a stream where you're mostly paying attention to your game and people are sending stuff that you're barely even saying anything about, then you shouldn't allow media sharing for your donations yeah that's true which actually we're probably gonna i've talked about it now for a while and i'm actually probably going to commit to it either at the end of this month or the start of the next month i am going to be doing another meme stream again and i'd love to see what kind of depravity you sick degenerates will send <laughs> in because i know y'all got some fresh ones hopefully they're ad friendly and if they're not oh well it's not the first time we've been banned off streaming off YouTube. Yeah, it's been a long time since the days of Link screaming and running off a cliff. Ah! It's still my favorite ah! one we were ever sent. I lost my shit so hard at that. <coughs> Which one? <coughs> the, the Link screaming. Oh, yeah. for me it was like him going off the cliff like, ah! Yeah. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> so the best shit ever. Hearing a whole new type of reaction content. But as my name suggests, I am the ultimate authority on React content. The trademark is pending, but I think I will manage. God dang it. Come on. I, we got to go through this shit again, Act Man. <laughs> First, the Fine Brothers, and now you. Actually, now that I look at it. Hold on. Enhance. Enhance. No. I knew that was you. I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah, I was just about to make the comment about it. if you got to pay royalties to somebody, wouldn't you rather it at least be somebody handsome like the act man? Like, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I couldn't remember if it was Ben or Rafi who, he who wore the glasses. But, yeah, he... But, yeah, the, one of the Fine Brothers did wear glasses. And... The Fine Brothers were way too dorky to ever have a tattoo of that fire. No, that, fi that tattoo is great. And also, act man is a much better natural speaker than the Fine Brothers. Mm -hmm. and I, I mean, and plus, he's he does a lot more research than the Fine Brothers. That's all I gotta say. 
manage to, to wrestle it from the slimy hands of the fine bros. <laughs> the content has blown up in the last few weeks, and since the kind of <coughs> cop turned in his badge and isn't patrolling the streets, many bad- He didn't turn his badge in as much as he had his balls and his badge, like, taken away and put in his, put in his, uh, you know, girlfriend, or his fiance's, his fiance, girlfriend, wife, I don't care. But in her person, basically, now he's a neutered version of himself because he's he's aware that my content affects people and it makes people it makes people do bad things. It's like uh, okay, you, you you sure about? I don't I miss, know anything about that. I miss I dubs, uh, the real I dubs. Bad actors have gotten complacent. However, before talking about the bad type of reaction content, Oof. let's talk about the best. Oh, old school H3H3. Yeah. Back when H3H3 was tolerable and actually had some very funny things. Now that's just, it's just sad where H3H3 is. <laughs> old H3H3 videos are still top tier in this regard. Some of Ethan's most popular videos are just reactions, but they're way more than that because he would incorporate skits. He would only play segments of the videos, not the entire things. Are you a game assassin, dude? You probably fucking sick. And in most cases, his also this was the early day. This was still like, like late cringe tube. This was back when you know Ethan could do that stuff and it would still be popular. Whereas if he tried to do that stuff nowadays, a lot of the skits that are back then. It wouldn't be anywhere near as popular because yeah. I, I hate to say it, but probably wouldn't fly with all the zoomers very much. No, uh, and and a lot of people would just see the content and would just be like, eh, it's it. There's some funny stuff here, but a lot of the skits, a lot of the skits didn't really pan out. I think the way Ethan wanted them to. His reactions made the content he was reacting to bearable. What's up, guys? I'm old Bradbury. I'm Ethan Bradbury. I'm the Bradbury. You the Bradbury. Kids. I can't even focus on what he's saying. I'm Ethan Bradbury. I think these are the best <laughs> kinds of react videos where the reaction or the response is the main focus or the main source of entertainment. This is what all reaction content should strive to do be equally or more entertaining than the thing they're reacting to. And even when Ethan would play clips without him. I'm not talking, sure if we always hit that bar. No, well, there's sometimes we, we hit, like, for instance, a lot of the times I see the comments whenever we do one of our crazy intros or whenever we do, like, a, a funny skit in the middle of it. I mean, every now and again, I mean, if I if we wanted to, we could, like, maybe we should try that for, like, a week. Like, just do one video a day and uh, just release, just, like, put effort into the skits and maybe put a little bit more into the into the thought of how we record and how we did again i'm, I'm not, just not super confident in my personal comedy writing ability like i can be funny when the moment strikes <laughs> me but like i'm not sure now, i'm not saying we completely like, eliminate shit like that that's the no. thing is i don't ever really try to be funny like i just let myself be funny if a moment comes up that makes sense to me that and it that, seems like it would be funny you know what and, I mean? and no and i get that and that's why i'm saying the number one thing that we would probably have to do is still do a reaction style like this but have it to where <clears throat> it's interspliced with <clears throat> <clears throat> with other stuff that's like commentary towards towards the video at hand like about this right here um, <laughs> There's several things we could do. Yeah, you know, I've already done the comparison between you know him and the fine brothers You know like him and I think it might have been Ben fine, but I don't know anyway For extended periods he'd add his own little edits in make it transformative Be connected that shit is still legendary. This, in my mm. opinion, is reaction content at its best. But if you want to see reaction content at its most deplorable, none do it worse than Sissa Sniper Wolf. This dude is running Agreed. sideways. Agreed. That's the clip that I was referencing. What the fuck? <laughs> this dude is running sideways. It's a, yeah. Yeah, he's... He, mm. What she does is steal viral TikToks and reacts 
I can't put strong enough, enough emphasis marks in that word, but she spams out these react videos on her channel like a soulless factory production usually her editors make sure to crop out the watermarks of the user and she never that's shitty dude yeah that's supremely shitty don't fucking do that no you see like right here you can definitely see the title of the video right there and also way down here oh, hold on way down here in the title of the video you can actually see the name of the person that we are reacting to. In which, I think every reaction channel out there needs to do that. I think every reaction channel should go through at least that much effort to make sure that your original content, or make sure that the original content is being credited. At least. Also, I froze, I froze on Ackman doing his fart sound face. <laughs> links these accounts in the description. Oh, shit. Damn it. Also, we Richard. have the video there. We see his little watermark down in the corner. Yes, it's of still course. still fucking there. Like, why would you do that? That's because... So also, yeah, that's the other thing, too. She never credits it whenever she uploads it. Look at that. Two million views. I swear to God, dude, some people get by just because they're attractive. That's it. Mm-hmm. In which, I'm not gonna say Sniper Wolf... SS Sniper Wolf's not attractive. She is, but... What's the point of being all the, you know, being all attractive and shit when you're just as bland as a stale stack of crackers? Because there's 34, 34 million suckers that fucking watch the shit anyway. Oh, oh yeah, the simping is hardcore with SS Sniper Wolf. And if that, hey, if you're a simp for SS Sniper Wolf, more power to you. Enjoy, enjoy, you know, knowing the fact that she's getting her fuck on with somebody else. She will never know your name. And you are literally giving all of your attention and all of your time to her for no, like, for no reason. I mean, look, I'm not trying to, like, lull anybody into a false sense of just, like, oh, you have a chance, you have a chance to get with all, oh, God, I just, ugh, the mental image, sorry, the mental image of me actually <laughs> being like that. No, I can't, I can't do it. I am a physically disgusting looking human being. Trust me, I take my shirt off and I see myself in the mirror and the mirror breaks every time. I can't tell you how much I've spent replacing mirrors in my bathroom simply because of how many that they break all the time. That explains all your bad luck. I... God dang it. <laughs> you just had to point that out too. On top of that, yeah, yeah. I wish I could shower with my shirt on, but it doesn't work. I, I hate it. Anyway or gives them any shout out whatsoever. It is cold, calculated content thievery. Stop! You, you violated the law! She reaps all the benefits I gotta without control. doing any of the work. Oh! So the Sniper Wolf's content is so lazy. Damn. Look at that. Look, even we had a greater, bigger reaction than she did during this. She's just like, she's, she's like... She's like... So you, you, you did anyways. I, I just kind of like... Yeah. Homie got hit. Like, dude. That shitty just uh, hit Also, that. the way that she had has the screen, like, I know she's kind of still big on the screen, but, like, my attention's over here. Yeah. Like, well, my naturally, attention got completely drawn away well, from any reaction well, she was Well, the having. natural progression of, like, how it is here in the West, left to right. You know, mm. how we naturally read left to right. I know in some countries it's right to left, you know, like Japan specifically. And I know that some people would probably look at, you know, who are from Japan would look at SS Sniper Wolf first. Be like, oh, who's this? Oh, what is she reacting to? Instead, it's like, oh, damn, that was that. Oh, wait, what was her reaction? That's basically that's basically what I'm getting from that. Good to know since Never I'm on the right side of the screen that less people probably pay attention to me. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm, I'm anxious. So lazy, soulless, boring, repetitive, stale, inhuman, and devoid of personality. That Jack's film started a video series. Wait, wait, what were all those? Hyper Wolf's content is so lazy, soulless, boring, repetitive, stale, inhuman, and devoid of personality. So Hassan Piker's content as well. Sorry, I couldn't I couldn't resist dunking on Hassan yet again. That Jack's film started a video series to improve her content. Jiggy Jack's where films. he plays bingo with his audience as they. Yeah, wait I've seen them. some of these. <laughs> and also, look at her wearing that Metallica shirt. Wow, I, I guarantee you, she doesn't even know like any Metallica songs. She probably heard the one in Stranger Things. 
She's like, oh, that's the Stranger Things like song by Metallica. It's like, what's the name of it? Eddie's song? <sighs> but Master yeah. Of Papa's are pulling the strings. Twisting your mind. Yeah, sorry. Predict how people react to a TikTok. He does this live on stream, so so these are genuine predictions he makes. Yes. Very strong chance Sniper Wolf will read the caption verbatim. I opened my beats the wrong way. <laughs> yep. Every time, dude. She does that all the time. And look, I do that sometimes whenever I'm reading the the subtitle up top for like <clears throat> the meme compilations that we do sometimes because I subconsciously do it. I'm just like I'm just like it's like my friend fell in and he made a weird sound. <laughs> that was a weird sound. Like I do that all the time too, but at least I at least I emote. <laughs> Please go to your uh, bingo cards and yes. you select reading caption word for word. <laughs> oh no! Yes. Now they're not in their little dividers anymore. I really want that close up. Oh no! I really want that. Let's see. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. I've been I've been saying this for years. She is so predictable with her reactions and her that like there's nothing genuine about her. Nothing. Everything is fake. Fake hair, fake lips, fake glasses, fake hat, fake fake ass shirt. Ain't nothing real about this woman. Also, why would you want your lips to look like you're a blow up doll? Because it makes her more appealing to desperate fools on the internet. Yes. Oh, and it also also it appeals to the dehumanizing element of like how some you how some people are online. It's like, oh, bro, she totally looks like a fucking blow up doll. I'm gonna treat man. If I ever had a chance with her, I'd fucking treat her like a blow up doll. That's like, just fucking weird. It's like it, it it's just like you you would you would lay on top of her and pop and watch her deflate. That's yeah right. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit, Sniper Wolf! I can read you like a book. There's <laughs> <laughs> a content creator who takes great and not even a good book. Not not like not like Lord of the Rings. More like Twilight. But I do. I would be fucking ashamed and utterly demoralized if anybody could do this with my videos. When faced with this criticism, how how did this a Sniper Makes me Wolf wonder if people can do that with those. Well. Mm. I, I sometimes have moments where I use words and verbiage a little bit too often. Are you good, I, Mr. Pumper? <clears throat> like, for instance, for a while there, I, I would say more power to you a lot in videos. And people would actually just be commenting down below, be like, Nate, be like, more power to you. And, and it's just like, fuck, they're right. And I haven't done that a lot. And... My thing is, I I try to stop myself from saying like way too many times. Cause I can't do that. That's just a habit I have. It's ingrained in my fucking brain. Yeah. I've tried to kind of not do that, and it makes me sound like this. <laughs> I understand that. Because I have well, to delete the word and the well, space here's the thing, stays there. Here's the thing with that. The more I do it, the less I the less I say it. The, le the less I say it, the more I get used to saying things without saying the word that I'm trying to remove from my vernacular. Anyway, sorry. Take it. You guessed it by blaming sexism. I hate bringing gender into this, but no one ever attacks the male React channels. <laughs> Bullshit. That is untrue. That is very untrue. I hate to say it, but Ben and Rafi, the Fine Brothers, which, you know, the attack on them was merited. It's like, yeah, they... See, I just did it again. I can't stop myself. So, the attack on them was merited. XQC's been under fire recently. Hassan... Yeah, like, it's just like it's like people how have yelled at us about shit before, it, and it's just like the, I could just see her with her blinders on. It's like you know the deliberate tunnel vision. It's just like how come they're only attacking me? Meanwhile, everyone else is literally getting attacked. Mm -hmm. Sheesh, it's so dumb. Are you sure about that? No, 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 
And now... No, you're bringing gender into this because it's your only defense. Because yes. Because you know as well as we do that what you do is morally wrong and you produce... Wah, wah, I can't stand female YouTubers getting out. Wah, wah, I don't give a flying fuck that you're female. I give a flying fuck that you are a horrible content creator. And you add nothing to the videos. Nothing. And watch it. Watch some Sniper Wolf simps in the comments just... Because she's got 34 million of them. And I guarantee you some of them are going to be in our comments section. She's like, you leave Sniper Wolf alone. It's just like, like, oh yeah? Oh yeah? She's never going to suck your dick, bro. She's never. She's never. It's not going to happen. She will never, you know what? Here's another thing too. She will never, ever truly know your name. Mm. Ever. No matter how much you donate to her. That's the guy's on. She's getting dicked down right now by somebody else that ain't you. She's on her back screaming someone else's name. And the last thing on her mind is your ignorant ass. Shit tier content. Side note: You should also subscribe to Jaja Jack's films and watch Already his live am. streams on Twitch. He goes out his way to point out each TikTok user that says a sniper wolf uh, refuses to credit and steals content from. And he that's links impressive. The in the what? They, they, he goes out of his way to actually figure out who the TikToks are from. Well, yeah. I mean, there's like, revert. Well, that's you... hard to like. That's extra work for sure. <laughs> it is. It is. I don't even know if I'd be able to find all of them. <laughs> I'm TikTok illiterate though. I didn't say. Tick, there uh, are ways you can. There are ways you can basically almost like reverse reverse search. As things. the meme says, I don't use TikTok. I watch three week old TikToks as reels on Facebook like an adult. <laughs> <laughs> his videos so it's <laughs> jack's films is doing your job for you he's making your content interesting and crediting the people you are stealing from but it gets worse see if you watch any of sister sniper wolf's content for more than a few minutes not that you'd be able to as a few <laughs> days later the police would find your brain splattered against the wall but if you even just watch one video of hers you'll notice sniper wolf has this odd pattern of narrating what we can all see with our own eyeballs mm, some Chalky milk. No, oh, that's, that's not, not milk. Oh, it's become a slime. I can't watch anymore. Uh, thank you for taking that away. So much so that her comment section has turned against her. Honestly, props to Leah, because I was not expecting the comment section to be on. Can't wait to play bingo with this one. I love how much insight she puts into these reaction vids, because damn, that's crazy. I love the part where she turned into a wolf and sniped everyone. <laughs> you know what I actually like about her the least? <clears throat> what? Her name. Because she's named after one of my favorite characters from one of my favorite video games of all time, and I don't feel like she deserves to have a name like that when she's creating such lazy fucking content. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I love at, at least I feel good about this. Like, we don't do that. I, yeah. We don't sit here like, oh, Actman is currently talking about her talking about the things that are happening on the video. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know? Like, Instead, we're taking it in and we're absorbing it and we're, like, interpreting it in our own way. And I'm giving thoughts on it that are popping into my head. So, she I don't just have thoughts popping into my head. I don't say anything. But... Blaine's what Asher's asleep. And he's just asleep, you know, he... because Sniper Wolf has already put him to sleep. Yeah, look at him. He's a big snoring boy. He's like, what's on TV? Oh, Sniper Wolf. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. What happens in the TikTok? She gets so much inspiration from her fans. This is, of course, in reference to YouTube putting out a TikTok <coughs> saying, where does Sniper Wolf get her ideas from? And she said, I get them from my fans. And this, these are the ideas. Re-uploaded TikTok. She's about to sniper explain what we're watching. Bro's got a big old bag of liquid. She's going to say something like that. Bro has a bag of... <laughs> When you're that predictable, it's time to stop. Much like Filthy Frank. Frank, tell her what's up. It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! What the Sorry. Oh, good. Uh, anyway. Frank's more interesting to listen to than I am. Uh, <clears throat> but I was just going to say that uh, at least I don't think... Jack would be able to sit down and do this exact same thing with what we're doing. Oh no, because I think he'd watch and he'd be like, these guys are fucking boring. He'd be like, they're about to talk about this. And then we'd be like, so that train that ran into the... And he'd be like, what? 
where the fuck did they get all this from? Like, <laughs> yeah, and then all of a sudden here because we are. Because our train always goes off the rails. So you yes. can't really predict which way yes. it's going to go left or our, right. You know? our, our train, we don't lose our train of thought. Our train of thought derails completely, and we... Sometimes it transforms like Transformer style and it flies off like a plane. Like, yeah, and we're and even we are uh, baffled with how we arrived at where we are with some of our conversations. Our train of thought just be like Autobots roll out. <laughs> Sniper Wolf, you continue to amaze me. So she narrates <laughs> everything that we can see with our own eyeballs. Now, you could chalk this up to just being a boring person with nothing valuable to say and making factory line production content, churning that out without any soul or passion whatsoever. You could chalk it up to that. However, astute observers have noticed that the reflection of the computer screen in her glasses is always white. You can mm -hmm. well, you can see my ring light in these glasses, yeah. right? You can see the ring that I've heard that, and honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if all every single one of her videos is fake. Right there. But if if I you see the white glasses, in you can see this, it's because there's two light panels. Yeah, They're actually, to the top left and right of the TV. Actually, and, it if you look straight at the screen, you can actually see the mouse moving. You actually see in the my mouse. Glasses. Yeah, in your glasses a little bit. I can't really see that because if I look, it messes up the reflections. So. It's okay. No, I see it. And honestly, I, it's like we are at seven minutes and thirty seconds of the video, and we are forty-one minutes in on this reaction. What the fuck? We're gonna take two hours on this bitch. Let's try not to do that. No, let's try not to. All right, let's keep going. Need the light changing, right? If I put like a red wallpaper on, this is what I'm looking at, and you can see it in my glasses. Yes. But again, if you look at Sniper Wolf's glasses, it's like okay, let's uh. So this is a conspiracy that she's not actually watching what she's reacting to? Let's do white screen. Flashbang. Now take it away. Flashbang. Take it away. Yeah, so. <laughs> Sorry. It's always a white box. What does this mean? Well, it's almost as if she's looking at a script a Microsoft Word document and not actually the video she's reacting to. Look at this. There's multiple instances in which you can see the reflection of her monitors in her fucking glasses and it's just white. You see her microphone and you see a, just a white screen. I don't see this video with the, tr the quirky trampoline white boy jumping off it and hurting himself. Oh. I see a fucking Google Doc. What the fuck? Sniper Wolf is so fucking lazy. She's not even reacting to what's on screen. She's faking it. Just like she fakes her gameplay, she fakes her Instagram photos. This is the fakest bitch on YouTube. Uh, it's what I've been saying for years. Thank you, Jesus, God. Dude, you are faking the laziest type of content on the platform. Oh, oh, but we're not done. It gets so much worse, ladies and gentlemen. One thing that always pisses me off with lazy content creators like this is when they reuse the same four faces in every thumbnail. Yeah, I've definitely heard, like, this is whenever I was like, who's that? Yeah. Whenever he first told me about her a long time ago, mm -hmm. he was like, look at her thumbnails. It's the same picture like, every four videos. Yeah, I was like, why doesn't she ever just, like, take one or two new ones at the very least? They've been the same for, like, a fucking year and a half or yes! more. Yes! It, it's so repetitive. It's so dumb. And look, here, okay. And, like, how many seconds does it take you to go make a new thumbnail for each video based off of stuff we do? Like, at least 30 seconds to a minute. And it's I use not nothing. And I use one of our reactions from the video. For instance, hey, you know what? This is gonna be our thumbnail. Yeah, so that's gonna be our thumbnail for the video. Post production mate, <laughs> if you do not remember where that is, I will find you and I will shove my foot up your ass. <laughs> uh God, anyway. This is gonna be so weird because I'm just I did something that wasn't even actually like a real reaction. I was just like, <laughs> they were just, hey, guess what? Now we're just like SS Sniper Wolf. <laughs> now, now, sometimes I reuse poses or faces, but it's generally <laughs> spread out. So that yeah, that's true. And also, look, he adds, he adds like shading to it to make it fit in with yeah, what's going like the flame light. He yes! changed the lighting. He at least put effort into it for yes! a second. And plus, dude, this is just iconic. I mean, come on, here's... Yeah. 
It's 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 that perfect. Is not noticeable at first glance. I've I've done this just a handful of times. You look at sniper wolf shit. Look at this garbage. Look at this. Just a, just take one glance and look. One. Yeah. You see the same face like thirty two, times. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven videos with the same face. These two are just back to back. Oh my god, look at this look at this unique thumbnail. Wow, it really stands out when you change. Let's let's actually let's go back a year and see how many times she made this face. A few moments later. 23, 24, 25, 26. You get the picture. Like, so this is the most two damn minute disposable dog shit, lazy copy and pasted content one can possibly make. You, you yeah, I'm kind of so convinced that she doesn't even actually do this stuff like as a YouTuber. No. Like, I'm pretty sure she works for YouTube. I or like doubt. some other company that's under YouTube. I would well, because YouTube themselves are promoting her. Well, no. Here's the thing: there are big conglomerate and companies. I think they're having her do it in this factory well, ass way. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the thing, dude. I mean, and they know that she's a big marquee name on the platform, so they're just gonna have her do this shit, and they'll make bank off of her, and she's gonna make bank as well because her videos average like three to four million views mm. per video. That's crazy. I don't even think I like we have one no, we have three videos I think that are over a million. And you know what? That's fine. I never expected to hit 10,000 subs on this platform, let alone 284,000, which thank every single one of you out there for subscribing. Thank you so much. But you know, for her to be hitting that, she has to be making north of like at least several hundred thousand dollars a year easily. I mean, if, which means she's never going to improve the content because why would you fix what ain't broken? No, like, you know why would you do more work to get the result you're already getting? You because know? she's not in it to be a creator. That's like us. Like we're branching out. I don't out think she doing... would care at all if she saw any of these videos. She's like, oh fuck, I'm making bank. Like, exactly. Man. And you know, here's the other thing too. We're expanding out and we're doing other stuff. You know, we have our gaming channel, which just hit ten thousand subs. Thank you for that. We have our. Gosh, listen to him. Just <laughs> gives a big snore. Uh oh. Asher. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Sleep at me, bro. <clears throat> but <clears throat> we uh <clears throat> we have that. We have our uh we have our uh, uh brrr, brain. We have our film channel, which is where we are gonna be posting our SCP uh series whenever we uh finish the first episode of it. Then we also have our uh, anime stuff, which, you know, if you want to check that out, feel free. And then, of course, we also have The Beardy Boys, which is our podcast that me, Chad from They Call Me Hat Guy, and Sim Poppy Rick do. And we have fun with that. But we expand out, we do other things, and we're always trying to figure out, like, new ways of doing stuff for us to have fun and be creative and all that. And if I was in Sniper Wolf's position and I was making all this money, I'd be like, hey... You know what? Let's do like a Mr. Beast thing where we give away a shit ton of our uh, of the money that we're making, and we basically uh, hell you could use it. You, tell you what, SS Sniper Wolf, you could do that as a tax write off. Oh, look at Bill. She probably already spent it all on her lips, and her ass, and her tits, and her and her cheek injections, and her fake ass hair, and her fake ass makeup, her fake ass wigs. Ugh. <sighs> You can't even just take like 30 minutes or an hour out of your day to set up a green screen and take various poses for thumbnails like you don't even need a green screen dude You don't even need a green screen dude Phone apps nowadays are so good at just completely eliminating backgrounds You don't even need a green screen anymore. You chopped this out don't you? Yeah, I chopped this out in Sony Vegas Yes, I mask around it in Vegas whenever I make the thumbnails that's why I look, some of the edges look a little rough, but eh, it still looks pretty good. Anyway. It's, it's so fucking easy. It's a wonder this woman isn't starring in my 600 pound life, given how lazy she is. Sniper Wolf is also such a talentless hack that she thinks reacting to other people's content makes it hers and therefore makes it her original idea because she like called out Mr. Beast for reacting to similar things she did. Like Im imagine how did that's exactly the same thing that the Fine Brothers did. Because Ellen DeGeneres had the idea to do, like, you know, young, or kids react to something on her, on her, uh, uh, on her show. The Fine Brothers were like, hey, 
That's our idea. We thought of it first. And it's like, no, you didn't. No. Oh, dude, the React community watches these videos that are big ideas for stuff, and then they go to another reactor that they like, and they see get their take on it. They go to another one they like, and they get their take on it. Yes. Like, nobody owns the rights to just do one thing. And to assume... It would be like us being like, you can't react to Fizzy Pop. That's our thing. No. That's stupid. That would be so stupid. Plus, if we did that, Viv would be in every would have every right to tell us to go fuck ourselves and to strike our channel down. Indeed. Because that's dickish. That is so dickish, it's ridiculous. Attached from reality, you have to be. To think that you own content if you're the first person to react to it. Jesus Christ. But it <laughs> it gets worse. You know what? I'm seeing it a lot worse. of this. Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of this shit. Maybe I just need to start talking shit on Twitter to become more popular. I don't recommend that. Or, I'm so, oh, I'm sorry. X. Yeah, genius branding, by the way. Because I was watching one of her clips, and she does this thing where she it's repeats It's like playing the Russian roulette. You'll try to get more popular, and you'll end up getting canceled, like, immediately. Bring it on. I got one foot in the grave and the other on a banana peel. What are they going to do? Exact same clips and reactions in a video in order to stretch it out to eight minutes so that she can put mid-roll ads whoa i don't know how people jump this high oh he jumped on like a little trampoline thing i was like there is no way bro just flew into the hoop dunked himself too does that count for extra inside Mwah. i know a good chicken when i see one whoa I don't know. yep she does that she literally just repeats the same clips yep just so she can reach eight minutes, so she can have mid rolls. <sighs> that is so obnoxious. You ain't kidding. You couldn't oh, take another like. You couldn't be bothered to to look at forty another clip. seconds to like watch something else. Yeah, right? and have like a minute of commentary on it. No, you had to repeat the same shit. Jump this high. Oh, you literally could have talked for forty five seconds and made your video better. Yes. In addition to like, the there is no time. way. This shit was spaced out like 40 seconds, dude. There's no end to the depths of depravity she will go. She will react to TikToks and then cut out the joke from the TikTok and pretend the joke is hers. She hit it with a Hadouken and she keyed in Cheater on his car. The guy in the video said she hit me with a Hadouken? No. Hold on. We have a very serious accusation from someone in the Twitch chat. The uh, she do? This bitch hit my shit with Thor's hammer. This bitch hit my shit with a Hadouken. Yeah. So she cut out the audio so she <clears throat> could make the same joke. Yes, so she could act oh, like it was all hers. Oh my god, dude. You are scumbag. That is pure scumbag right there, dude. I started out this video being like, I don't really want to dunk on another reaction person that bad, you know. Oh, it's just like back when Jinx and CJ is so the cool. Further we go, shit, the dude. more I, my guilt has just evaporated. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's just like when Jinx and CJ is so cool. We're doing this shit. I had no qualms calling them out for the bullshit that they were doing, but this, this is some next level shit in terms of just like how asinine you have to be in order to pull this shit. Because at least Jinx and CJ is so cool reacted to the videos that they were actually saying that they were watching. At least they were actually watching the videos. She's not even watching the videos. Christ. Oh hell no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're gonna have to add a new bingo space for that one, Jack. I worry about your mental health, Jack. Like. This has got to be doing a number on you, Well, bro. Jack, Jack, please. If you ever feel the need to, to, like, no, I don't even want to say it because of uh, current things that are happening with some things. <clears throat> but if you ever have dark thoughts, Jack, do a favor. Do, do, do yourself a favor. Stop watching SS Sniper Wolf. It will enhance your mental health drastically. 
okay in all of my months of Jaja Jack's films, this is probably the single most egregious thing you've ever done. One of the most extreme <laughs> examples of like content thievery is uh, she stole a video from a guy whose original video had 1.6 thousand views at the time, and her video that included that re-uploaded video at 13.6 million views. There was no trickle down, no effort, no fucking care in the world. Yep. No, no attempt at accreditation. You see, here's the thing. Rick, Simpoppy Rick, does compilations of the goons. He also edits for the goons. He actually got a job editing for the goons, which, <laughs> good on you, Rick. <clears throat> but <clears throat> every time he made one of those compilations, he put the original video that it was that the clip was from up in the corner of the video. Yeah, he made sure that people knew it was this video. And not only that, but he would link all the shit in the comment or in the description. I, I just mm, anyway. But that so takes more than two seconds worth of effort. Oh, sure. I know, right? Yeah. Mm. For Wolf, you are a thief, you are a scumbag. Everyone in the content creator hemisphere should unify and call you out on your bullshit. Now, the main topic of Jack's video seems to be SS Sniper Wolf, aka Miss, sits there and watches other people's content for money and makes millions, including mine apparently, which I had no idea about. And uh, yeah, it's extremely lazy and I hate it. I don't have any sympathy for thieves. The thieves being re-uploaders, and people who just sit in the corner of a video making money off of all the people. Yeah, we uh, here's the thing. I'm I don't want to do the thing where I'm like where it's it's this. We're basically it's hold on. It's basically like this. Hold on. I don't want it to ever be like this. You know where it's basically us up in the corner basically just being like actually you know what even even worse if it was like this and we were reacting to the video this way and it was just us up here and you could barely see us and you could barely hear us as a matter of fact matter of fact here you, no 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 we you don't want to like so people who do this I, I mean, come on, dude, at least make yourself, if you are, if the if the channel you are on is called Renegades React, at least make yourself, the Renegades, like, the main section of the video, the biggest part of said video. Like, at, at least do that. Ugh. Oh, anyway, sorry. Just had, had to... Those contents. Jax Films is 100% right in that YouTube themselves should not be promoting your kind of content, your kind of strategy, especially at VidCon, as it sends the message to creators that stealing someone else's hard work is a better approach than making your own. There's a lot of nuances to making reaction content, and clearly Sniper Wolf gets all of it wrong. It's entirely possible to make react videos ethically. <coughs> and recently a YouTuber named The Act Man made a great journey through time looking at some of mainstream media's finest pieces on gaming. So I just wanted Charlie's to Charlie's always been uh, exceptional with his breakdowns and his commentary on stuff. Uh, we, it, we do the same. I mean, like the Act Man, we talked about him multiple times. Like, go yes. watch the Act Man. His shit absolutely. is awesome. Absolutely. Right. And if and if this is your first time seeing the Act Man, please, please go give him a subscribe or go or go check out his videos first. And if you like his content by itself, hey, Subscribe. The man deserves it. Share some of their highlight montage here with their best takes in gaming. Well, we do I'll do the entire video. video. Yeah, but, but we but yeah. I think we split it up enough to where it to where it is transformative enough. Because right now, look at this. We're already almost an hour in on the reaction. Jesus Christ. And we and we're just. <laughs> Oh my god, I am so sorry. Um, yeah. Encourage his audience to watch the full video with links at the top of the description. Which, yeah, we 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 basically do the same thing. So, anyway, I mean, y'all should, like, 
Definitely check out the act, man. I remember you being stoked when you found out you could tag another channel in the title. Now. Oh, yeah. Because we were like, I'm going to put everybody's channel in the title now. Yes. It's like awesome. I actually went back and did that to a lot of our like most popular videos because we couldn't do that back in the day. Now it's like, it's like, every, I do it to everybody. Mm. Man's video in the description so that way you can see all of the stories because, wow, they're really something special. But it's also very easy to screw this up. It's easy for a large creator to keep an eye on trending videos to quickly upload a reaction in order to steal, siphon, or cannibalize the viewership of that smaller creator. The biggest detriment of reaction content is that someone who watches the reaction is much less likely to watch the original. This problem is a lot less relevant for small creators reacting to bigger ones. For example, a channel with like 3,000 subs watches a video of mine in its entirety and gets 10k views, that doesn't really affect me at all. You know, I'm happy they're watching it and sharing their enjoyment with their audience. But mm. it becomes more significant when big creators react to each other or big to small. There was a recent case with my Diablo 4 fanboys video. It started off really well, getting pretty See, I think uh, for that reason, if we ever blow up really big, that we should definitely set some sort of like hard, like... Standard. Um, you know, like <coughs> essentially quarantine period to like everything that we do and, and you see i was like that for a lot of nostalgia critic videos back in the day but then but then you know basically we got the we got the green light from doug to basically just be like it doesn't matter like how quickly yeah. we do it but it, it honestly we aren't you know i mean and to be honest with us it's almost always us reacting to bigger channels too so. yes yes and and that's the thing as well as a like, if we ever do like smaller channels. I know actually I think I did a Frankentuz, the uh, guy who does like the animated stuff for the goons, and he had I think about fifty thousand subs at the time. And I credited like I went everywhere, you know, top of the description, you know, and like uh, in the description or in the title of the video, I said it multiple times like check out Frankentuz, check out Frankentuz, check out Frankentuz, because the dude does great work. But anyway, sorry views the first day then Gold uploaded a reaction to it got good views the second day but then the video fell off harder than quebble cop on the third day what i realized is that if you're a big creator who's going to react to someone's video you should wait at least four days for it to be pushed in the out also Gold doing the corner game I, I think that's what we can effectively call this the corner game because he used to not do that too like he actually used to have himself bigger on the screen like if I remember correctly, it's like when he'd be playing WoW, you know. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I forgot if this. I know is... I've seen videos of Asmund's where he's big on the screen, but maybe he switches it when he's reacting to a video. Okay, that's what was wrong. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that I had uh, I'd, uh, clipped off that part of the vid because of a. Uh, <clears throat> it was hard for me to make it all like uh, fit on screen. There we are. Fit the screen. There we go. So yeah, this is the corner game. Basically, <laughs> instead of us being like majority of the screen, we're up here. Yeah. So boom. There we go. Oh no, we're covering the title. So yeah, there. As a matter of fact, why is Asmund Gold even here? There we go. Let's <laughs> let's cover him up. There we go. At least no, he says interesting things. No, I, I know, I know. I'm being I'm being. He's an not ass. nearly as bad as Sniper Wolf. I'm but. being an ass, dude. Come on, I'm just being a dick. Algorithm naturally, and that's what Asmund and I talked about and agreed on after this happened. In this way, it creates buildup for his audience. They'll ask him to watch the video, and they just have to wait patiently. So when he finally does, his audience is going to be excited. It means that my video will do better in turn, and so will his. You can see the difference in views on these two videos, despite them being on the same game i like esmond mm. gold he's a big ass nerd like me who loves talking <laughs> about video games and he's reacted to a bunch of my videos as someone who takes passion in what i do i enjoy watching those reactions they always do really well on his channel and some might say but act man he's stealing views from you those views belong to you 
maybe they do i can't say for certain but what i can say is a lot of people who are subscribed to my channel wouldn't be subscribed if asmongold never made these videos and that goes for charlie as well reacting to like my elden ring hot takes video and many mm -hmm. others these moments have boosted my channel in in really positive ways and i think it's because the people watching the videos and react well it's you getting a shine from a bigger youtuber and that's that's a that's that's huge i'm trying to i think I wouldn't be subscribed to Actman if not for Rich. Which Rich didn't really do a reaction, but he definitely played parts of Actman's video in his video covering mm. the deal with Fuckface. The, Quantum. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's why I subscribed to Actman. It's because of Rich from the VTech. So. I mean, like, other YouTubers can get other YouTubers' subscriptions and stuff. Like, <coughs> it's not impossible, but whatever you're. A gigantic YouTuber watching TikToks, not crediting anybody. You're not doing anything for anybody but yourself. Agreed. Acting to them, enjoyed it, and promoted my channel in the proper way. And that brings us to XQC, who is oh somehow boy. way better than Sniper Wolf at making reaction videos. His problem is that he does less reacting and more re-uploading. But all too often, he just sits there for minutes at a time without uttering a peep. And his editors don't cut out, like, the dead air. So there's these long stretches of yeah. him not saying anything, providing no insight, not transforming the content, essentially just re-uploading it to YouTube. That's what XQC. I worry about with ours all the time. Yeah, and... That's why when I do our anime reactions, I do cut dead air. Like, yeah. I cut dead air hard. Because I have to cut the show, too. Like, you can't just put a full episode of an anime on. No. Like, so I get the best parts where we have shit to say... And I can get like some little clips in between that'll keep the story flow together for people that might not remember exactly what happens in the episode. If yeah. They watched it a while ago, you know. But like, yeah, it's like the dead air and stuff is just what I try to make sure that we don't do a lot of. And if we ever have a video where we've sat here for like, and I was like, that was a lot of dead air. I'll usually tell Nate afterwards. I'll be like, yeah, let's not upload that one. No, I'll and I, and that's I, I've been there too. I mean, we've actually been in the middle of a reaction. I think it was me and Chad where we both looked at each other. It was just like, "Are you? A, yeah, yeah." It was you just think like, we should keep going. It's like <laughs> I. It's like I'm not really having anything. Like I'm not really having anything to say about this, man. I mean, you want to like switch something else? He's like, "Yeah, man, I'm not enjoying this either. Let's let's just let's just let's just delete it." Actually. Sounds like a dirt bike climbing a hill. Yeah. Oh, he ain't doing it's it stalled. no. Damn it. Damn it. Uh. <laughs> so, uh, me and... It keeps going. Actually, I'll say it. I'll say it, dude. There's... It, <laughs> people have asked us to watch Cadicorous in the past. We tried to watch a Cadicorous video, and we what? had nothing. Wasn't really... We had nothing to say. Conducive to us reacting. To and, them, and, and, I, and I know there's a lot of people out there who really want us to watch Kid Icarus, but I didn't feel confident posting it because we didn't say anything. There was very little commentary or stuff that we found entertaining in it to like merit a reaction. And, that, and, and you know what? That's not a, a slight against Kid Icarus. It's just not our style of content that, we're, that we like. And... God. Anyway, sorry. See, Enough of me ranting. TikTok, right? I had a clip of it, but Damn apparently, it. like yesterday, XQC decided to take that clip and post it on his YouTube channel. Finish the sentence. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. I'm going to uh. dream. Stay away from her. That's a banger of a reaction. Dude's web froze <laughs> for a few seconds there. I don't even think he blinked in that clip. Hassan and XQC do come from a different branch of content creation than YouTubers, right? Live streaming is very much a what have you done for me recently type of content <clears throat> creation. So the idea of leaving for five minutes to, to take a dump means they think they'll lose viewers, which they might. But if you're reacting to a video, I can't imagine anything being more disrespectful than, than viewing it as so unimportant that you can just let it play and just get up and, and you're not even reacting to it. Yeah, at least uh, like, here's the thing. Your fans you on on live stream you know i you should pause the video and bring up something else oh gee i don't know how about you you bring up someone else's live stream and you give them some shine on or something like that and yeah you may lose viewers that way but dude 
if you gotta take a shit, don't just play a video to keep keep like the keys jangling above your like audience's head. Mm-hmm. Like actually like put like just be like, guys, I'm gonna have to I gotta go uh, take a shit real quick. Uh, so I'm actually going to uh, play a different video. And we'll get back to this one when I get back. Dude, I don't know about you, but if I was a fan that sent in a video for someone to react to on a live stream, and then it gets to my video, and they're like, I gotta go poop, and they just let my video play while they're AFK, I'm never fucking going back to their channel again. Yeah, that's <laughs> dumb. That's fucking dumb. That would piss me off. I would be like, all right, fuck them then. <sighs> all right, anyway, sorry. And then you miss so much context because five, ten minutes of the video have gone by. You come back, you don't even know what the fuck you're reading. Like, and he comes out, he's like, wait, what happened? All right, chat, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, okay, they're talking about uh, about uh, about China versus Hong Kong. I don't know, I haven't seen that video. Reacting to anymore. It just feels like Hassan wanted to not be streaming anymore, but didn't want to lose those uh, stream dollars, like outside of the camera being on him. How is it any different than him just watching a YouTube video off stream? It just rubs me the wrong way. Like, how do you think of your viewers? To just stream your break dude what am i supposed to do die <laughs> it's a thought you're not gonna die hassan your heart will keep beating neither is your channel going to die believe it or not you've got a pretty sizable and consistent audience i think many of them are loyal to you and understand that even you even you hassan piker need to take a shit sometime <laughs> <laughs> okay, at least he's wearing underwear. Thank God. <laughs> and if you do not have my permission to walk away from. For the record, I'm not. I'm not actually walking away for any extended period of time. Like, what are you supposed to do if uh, if there's an emergency and you have just to say wait? I'll be right back. Yeah, you can. Well, that and also you can pause it. But the problem is, yeah, pause the video. When you pause the video, it's just like makes uh, the content awful. You know. Yeah, it's called and when you repost it onto YouTube, there's a little magic trick you can do called editing. Okay, and, like, I don't know how it is for big streamers. It's probably worse because the bigger of a sample pool you have, the more you see an effect when things happen. But uh -huh. whenever we needed to go AFK during a live stream, we'd have a fucking Be Right Back screen. Yes. We'd go away, we'd, we'd come put back, up, and, and guess put what? Music. Everyone waited on us. Yes. Like, and, and here's like, the thing, we, we didn't often lose a music. bunch of people between being, being right back because they went and got snacks and shit while we were being right back. Like, yeah. You know? And they right. let the shit, they, they let the be right back screen play. Like, I don't understand the thought process behind it. Everybody's going to leave if I go AFK for a minute. I was like, well, I I, I got to fight to keep my viewers, you know, because I'm a, I'm a live streamer. And li and I don't even want to hear you. I, I'm by, by the way, I'm commenting as Hassan Piker here. I heard... I heard him say this one time and it absolutely annoyed the shit. He's just like, he's like, I just don't, like, I'm just sick and tired of YouTubers chiming in and, and just like pretending that their, uh, that their jobs are so much harder and this and that and blah, blah, blah. It's like, I'm like, I'm like, dude, I'm not, they're not saying that their job is harder. They're just saying, look at it from a different way and try and approach the problem a different way. Don't just do the same thing over and over again and keep doing the wrong thing like that's that's all they're saying they're not saying oh woe is me i'm a youtuber my life is so much harder no stop get off your high horse and stop pretending that everyone that that everyone's trying to make you the bad guy you're just the bad guy accept it yeah but like that's no you i'm just telling you oh, no no i know I, I I, you're right you say guys put on you're, a song or something you know what i mean you're Fucking absolutely show. right so just pause the video dude just pause the video and come back later i will give props to xqc for at least bothering to use unique faces in each of his thumbnails and unlike asman gold xqc doesn't seem to have any standard for the content he uploads to his youtube channel and has no regard for how his reaction videos might affect smaller creators he did try to debate ethan klein on this subject and i used the word debate pretty loosely yeah he started doing the worm but when presented with evidence that a reaction video of his had negative consequences for a smaller creator xqc didn't deny it he just called the guy a paid actor xqc he really just steals my shit, entertains his audience off hundreds of hours I put into my videos while I get just a link in the YouTube description. The problem isn't the reacting, it's the re-uploading of my video with his face on the thumbnail, and I don't DMCA him because I don't want the Twitter drama. 
Oh. This is XQC. He's been cannonaded this afternoon by all the enemies of his life. His insecurity has shelled him. His sensitivity has straddled him with humiliation. His deep-rooted disquiet about his own worth has zeroed in on him, landed on target, and blown him apart. Mr. XQC. Who in just a moment will move into the Twilight Zone. <laughs> yeah. That is so brilliant and so on the nose with XQC. I am act man. Applause. <laughs> you you deserve applause for that, dude. Yeah. That was so a good. Search for survival. She yes. doesn't want the Twitter drama. Wait, why okay. are you? Well, hold on. This guy says you stole a shit. Why are you denigrating that? I think you should take this seriously. Well, because one is a paid actor, right? Which huh? is, I think. Well, I, I mean, it's this. Like, I mean, that's a paid actor, hundred percent. Wait, what? Um, what did you say? Hey. Oh, it's a paid actor. Yo, is this person fucking retarded? Yes. No, yes. You can't trust this guy. He's part of a conspiracy plot against me. Really, dog? It was at this moment XQC lost the debate as well as any authority on the subject of React content and pretty much showed everyone that he's just incredibly lazy. Don't make React mm. videos like XQC. I think it's a problem for Agreed. almost any creator if the bulk of their content is reaction based because then they become defined by what they're watching and not what they themselves make. If you rely too much on reaction videos, then inevitably you kind of you'll lose your own talents and touch as a content creator. But from the way XQC makes content on his YouTube channel, you'd assume he's someone who's never worked hard for anything. But the dude used to be one of the best players in Overwatch, so that's not true. I, I like XQC. I think he's been acting like a clown recently, but I like him. <coughs> the reason I and many others are upset and calling yeah, When I originally I found him, like, he's the reason that I started playing Roadhog in Overwatch. Like, mm. I liked him when he was playing Overwatch. Yeah. Agreed, he's become a clown. Because I feel that he's way better than this. That he doesn't need to resort to this sort of like bottom tier content in order to entertain his audience. One, in fact, one of my favorite videos of him was, was like a stream he did where he just went to the gym and it, and it was just, it was so fucking awesome and wholesome to see this guy out of his element. Like, why don't you do more stuff like this? You know? Like, this is so fucking... Look at the positive response you got. It takes balls to stream himself struggling with the bar. Yeah, this is why I respected XQC. But now you look at his channel, most... Wait, 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 wait. Struggling with the bar. Yeah, this is why I respected XQC. <laughs> his camera froze. Uh, see. But now you look at his channel... I wonder if he did that as a joke to, like, XQ... As, like, XQC's, like, camera... Like, his webcam is, like... Dude, his webcam froze during that during that part there. Mm -hmm. Most of it's not even gaming related. It's just reacting to everything. Oh, well, there's some gaming content. XQC, of course, got a, a massive contract with Kick. And mm -hmm. money does something to people. Money changes the weak willed. Fans of American football might remember uh, a, a feller named Jamarcus Russell. Oh. You know where I'm going with this. This guy got a $93 million contract with the Oakland Raiders. Yeah, that was... Yeah, that was that was easily one of the worst things you could have done. Is get basically it made Jamarcus Russell, you know, it made him complacent because he's like, I got thirty two million dollar guaranteed right there, and an average salary of ten million dollars a year. And here's the thing, he didn't even have to like he didn't even have to practice. Like, there was nothing in his contract that made it binding to where he would have to like show up to practice or he would have to do he would have to do team drills or stuff so they like literally that. Literally were just like, You're on this team and we give you this much money. Yes. Like, he's like, Okay. And Jamarcus Russell basically is one of the worst quarterbacks of all time. And it's so sad because I saw the talent that Jamarcus Russell had. I saw the kind of athlete that he was and what he was capable of. He just realized he could get money without having to try, basically. Yeah, mm -hmm. and when you don't have to fight for it, when you don't have to work your ass off for it, it basically just makes you feel like, like, then what's the point of even trying? 
and after that he seemingly jumped off a cliff and had no fucking passion for the game at all he took the nope. guaranteed money and ran i see this same like change and lack of passion in xqc so, so like i mean just right chat why is the chat not coming for react harder chat, I guess I this is a video on xqc's channel look at look at the fucking cluster fuck that is on screen you've got ethan and hassan you've got xqc's chat overlaid the chat below you have a video within a video xqc's face is on screen three separate times what the fuck is this what no the fuck kind of video happening. is this what the hell am i looking at what are you reacting to i like how does your audience make sense of any of this shit cut cut to just your face how about that i found another clip from a video i got called out for reacting and i want to show it to you guys what's up guys what's up guys guys welcome to chat welcome to my channel chat my name is xc today we're doing an indeed live analysis on this video we're doing a react today chat the react number one today chat is is xc actually this dumb okay so so you're making fun of people that are calling you out for lazy reaction content and your response is to do what they're asking you to do look mm -hmm. wow wow I, mm. it, I mean it's, that's like what I'm saying it's like with sniper wolf it's like if even if she saw these commentaries it would be like I don't give a fuck I don't have to do that yeah so why would I like you know what i mean yeah look like, you added they clearly don't give a fuck and they're not gonna automatically just start giving a fuck because people call them out unfortunately i wish they would but they're not gonna no they're not you added some text you you add your editors did a little animation on it too like yeah yeah that's that's slightly transformative guys guys he's learning he's learning so muda made a tweet that blew up this whole thing and said just a shame garbage like this fills the recommended tab and xqc responded i wonder what triggers people like you so much revenue share audience split algorithm yes yes all of those things trigger people whose content is being stolen because every single youtube channel relies on revenue the algorithm and their audience in order to be successful what are you mm -hmm. talking about i've seen mm -hmm. this complaint a million times and most public figures try to attack it from multiple angles just to fall flat on their face if you've heard this complaint so often perhaps a little introspection is necessary mood a clap back with i know you're not the brightest but i didn't expect you to be this intellectually dishonest nothing is inherently triggering when you view live content on a different platform it's when you re-upload the content to the same platform and have it copy the same metadata to further cannibalize this hits the nail right on the head when people essentially try to siphon that same revenue and that same audience off of a video by making it look as similar as possible to it and re-uploading that so soon after the original post but xqc does link the video look at that let's let's check it out does he link mr beast's video yes he does honey v2 Yep, he links it. So the reason I point this out is to illustrate how fucking awful Sniper Wolf is. So yeah, the, the <laughs> yeah, more you wrapping listen wrapping to back XQC around. on the topic of reaction content, the more you realize that he's merely coping and unable to withstand constructive criticism. He whines and moans about other creators being insecure, but then tries to flex his wealth on people like Ethan Klein. It's like, are you trying to be a spitting image of rice gum? What's wrong with you? Might does not make yeah. you right. Money does not make you funny. Okay. No, it doesn't. Adam Sandler on Netflix is proof of that. Overall, reaction videos, like all content on YouTube, takes time to make it good. XQC and Sniper Wolf are two creators with more than the means at their disposal to make genuinely good reaction videos to credit the people involved to not siphon that audience away from them and to shout those people out but i just wanted to do my due diligence in trying to keep this platform nice and clean and point out the bad actors in it so thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and subscribe to the act man for more awesome content all right everyone that's all i got for today this is the act man signing out peace yeah i mean i'm really glad he made that and i hope that they might maybe listen but i'm not gonna bet on them listening so oh uh, yeah i mean it's like <laughs> i'm not gonna bet on their audiences listening either because leaving a like on that they just haven't so far well
Someone who's blind. I love Sniper Wolf's ability to narrate everything. She makes me wish I wasn't blind, but rather deaf. Even Axeman had to admit that <laughs> said, was a sick burn. <laughs> said Peasel Natchez. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> also, also, like, well, this is awkward. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a comment on the Actman's video y'all can go try to find if you want to. Yeah. Feel free to look for it on uh on Actman's video. It's linked in the description and also it should be the first video that you see when you go to the Actman's channel if you click his name in the title of the video. So yeah. We also left a like and uh yeah, this mm, excuse me. Yeah, this right here, I love Act Man, dude. The guy has, the guy, the guy does his research and he makes, he makes just the best points mm -hmm. about, about this stuff. And he doesn't mince words. He doesn't try to, try to shape it to where it fits a narrative that he wants it to. He just tells the truth. Yeah. And I think that's what I think that's what I respect about him the most. I mean, he's a tele intelligent and has ethics and I mean, it's hard to disagree with that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like without making yourself sound like an idiot or unethical because he's right. He is. <laughs> when he, when you're right, you're right. He's right. Like every time everything I've seen by him, he's right. <laughs> yeah. So. He's right. I mean, I haven't really seen anything by him that it's just like it makes me go, hmm. Yeah, I don't agree with that. No, he he basically just he de he's very subjective with his breakdowns, and he's very he he's very intricate and he's very delicate with he he's also very delicate with how he puts things. Most of the time, sometimes he's pretty much just it's like instead of a little delicacy, he just comes in. It's like this requires like a tack hammer to like hammer and slowly instead sledgehammer, boom, gets the job done, but it is a little unnecessary, but. But hey, it's funny. Yeah. Oh. I, mean, I like stuff like this too because it just, like I said, it helps me keep in mind as we go forward with our endeavors to make sure that we also remain ethical with them, obviously, which we've always oh, put yeah. forth that effort to do. So. Yes. So. All right. I. This video is already an hour and twenty six minutes long. So, we've already added an hour onto this reaction. You want to know the oh. best part? Is it wasn't just us repeating the same clips over and over again to make it that long. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Nah, actually, you know what? I really want this video to hit an hour and a half. What, so. Stretch it out to two? Yeah, gonna yeah. Repeat some of that. Gonna yeah, we're going to repeat. We're going to play back some of our highlights of, like, the points that we made and, you know, regurgitate so that we said. Please don't. I'm not going to. <laughs> but Lord have mercy. Okay. This was uh, the dark side of reaction content by The Act Man. If y'all enjoyed and you want to see more from The Act Man, click his name in the title of the video. And if you made it this far. Oh, yeah. Oh, if you made it this far, the secret word is pineapple. So type pineapple in the comment section if you made it this far. And don't put it on your pizza. And there he goes again, snoring up a storm. It's Chikini. Hey. It's Chikini's down there. Hey, buddy. All right. Anyway, we'll see you all in the next one, everybody. Take care.